What? Oh, it's okay. Well, we'll get started on the meditation anyway. So oh, everyone, I'll just mute, I'll just mute all y'all's uh, microphones anyway. Wrong. All right, come on, dude. Oh, never. Thank you. Uh, stay quiet, my dear friend. Not too long. All right. Thank you. I think I just got disconnected. It's okay. All right. I can I can hear uh, background noises somewhere. Yeah. Please mute yourself as we are going through this. It's not coming from me. <laughs> right. I'll just turn off my smartphone. All right, guys. As we breathe in, we breathe out. We feel the ocean breath of our own mind as it breathe in, and as we breathe out. Close your eyes and begin to breathe slowly and deeply. Take care that your spine and posture is balanced and straight and your energy channel becomes serene open to all things around you. As we are breathing in and out, imagine that now that you are sitting on a beach where you are floating above the surface of a blue ocean. Knowing that ocean is your emotions. You remember that you vowed to conquer your emotions and rise above like the sky and the horizon. You remember that the emotion represents your deepest longing for compassion and to love others. On knowing that is your greatest desire, you wish that all beings are safe and can be carried towards the shore beyond the sands of samsara. And that you want whatever intentions you set at the beginning of your meditation to aim towards that great purpose.
as you sink ever deeper. You begin giving the ocean breath. Breathing in through your nose and out to your mouth with a sigh like the ocean wave until you know that you are the ocean and the ocean is you. And now, give yourself three long, deep breaths. <sighs> On your third breath, hold your breath in. And we do breath of fire. You can relax, and you may notice that as the energy is radiating within your brain and into the crown and third eye chakra, we pump our breath in with. Our abdomen, using it as our bellow. Now you can relax. And you may notice the energy is raining within you, your brain, your crown, and your third eye chakra. Upon its radiance, you will see a picture of your own teacher. Whoever it is, Krishna, Christ, Buddha, whoever it is that you admire, that represents the power of forgiveness. The power of to forgive is within you, and that all things are possible through your own true will. The power is full of love and compassion and knows all things. He or she is the representation of all things that you see as good and powerful. From the third eye of the teacher, you experience a radiating light of the sun that shoots from his way 
into yours. As you are experiencing this radiance, you experience the radiant, radiating, vibratory syllable OM. Um. As the energy travels from your crown and to your third eye and towards your throat chakra, you simultaneously see a stream of blue light like ocean waves rushing into your throat chakra at instantaneous speed from your root teacher. As you are experiencing this raging stream of blue light, you experience the radiating vibratory syllable ah. As the energy travels from your throat chakra down to your heart and circulating throughout your body, you simul simultaneously see streams of green light, of life, shines and instantaneously radiates in your heart from your root teacher. As it encompasses you in all directions, from within, without, from all around you, and beside you, on top of you, you see the toroidal field of your power extends from your heart towards your crown and loop back into your root chakra. Fill it with light, knowing that everything around you is love and that you are part of this love. For this is the universe you are living in right now that you can create today. In knowing this, you will wish that everybody will experience this love and live in this existence, serene, peaceful, 
compassionate like the ocean you are floating above. As the energy travels down to the solar plexus, to your sacral, and down to your root chakra, you feel this moment of confidence, prosperity, and identity. This is your old friend, the ego. He or she is a friend that serves you very well and kept you safe. Thus, in knowing this, you send a powerful radiant field of light towards your ego and let him or her dissolve into your root teacher. When the energy travels and had touched your root chakra, you will see roots growing underneath you like a tree and that all life force is traveling up to your body like water traveling up and beyond that tree's body. Let the, root, the roots grow and open the gates for the kundalini to pass so that the life forces rushes into you. Let it nurture you. As you're, you let the roots grow encompassing all of Mother Earth, one of your main roots touches the heart of Mother Earth cleansing yourself and Mother Earth simultaneously as the whole planet is clear from all karmas and everything is seen with clear light and vibrations. As the energy travels from your root and up on your spine, you feel your crown is opening like a flower in muddy waters. This is the doorway to enlightenment towards the infinite. Perform a root lock. As you expel all the negativities from your abdomen, closing the doorway of your kundalini. You felt all the negativities 
are dispersed and transformed into light for all beings to live. When you're ready, you can let go. You may feel a tingle from your heart, your root, and your crown chakra. This is the moment when a shower of light from above is purging away the negativities around you and within you. At the same time, you cleanse yourself. You sense yourself radiating out light and that your root teacher and yourself is inseparably dissolving into that clear light. When you see this clear light, you might be afraid of it. Do not be afraid. Remember that everyone is with you and within you, that we're all are going to die someday. We will all pass on to the light. When fear is overcoming you, let it be dissolved away so that you're, you can pass into the light. <sighs> As you dissolve into the light, you finally become a star in an ocean of darkness with infinite possibilities. Within that possibility, you see yourself bringing it out to all those who know, who love, and who you love the most the ones you hate the most and the ones you don't know the most. But most importantly, as you are expanding, expanding your form of compassion, consciousness, you notice somewhere in the far reaches of that infinite possibility that death is lurking behind the veil of a person. That person is dying and deteriorating like run flesh and the maggots are festering on him. You sense the pain the person is going through. Thus you said, I need to reach my love to that person. For he or she is also part of I. Thus, upon this realization, you may say this out loud to that person or communicate through your mind as far reach into that infinite possibility as is it said out loud. Hey.
noble one. Listen unwavering with intense concentration. There are six kinds of between. The natural life between. The dream between. The contemplation between. The death point between. The reality between and the emergent existence between. Hey, noble one, three be tweens will dawn for you. The death point between, the reality between, and the existence between will dawn. Until yesterday, in the death point between, the reality clear dawn light has dawned on you, but you did not recognize it, so you had to wander here. Now the reality between and the existence between will dawn for you. As I describe them, you must recognize them without fail. A noble one, now you have arrived at what we call death. You are going from this world to the beyond. You are not alone. It happens to everyone. You must not indulge in attachment and insistence in on this life. Though you are attached and you insist, you have no power to stay. You will not avoid wandering in the life cycle. Do not lust. Do not cling. Be mindful of the three jewels. The Christ Consciousness, the Trinity, the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha. This is the three Trinity. This is the three jewels. Hey, noble child, whatever terrifying visions of the reality between may dawn upon you. You should not forget the following words. You must proceed remembering in your mind the meaning of these words. Therein lies the key to recognition. Hey, now when the reality dawns upon me, I will let go of the hallucinations of instinctive terror. Enter the recognition of all objects as my mind's own visions and understand this as the pattern of perception in the between. Come to this moment. Arrive at this most critical cessation. My own visions of deities mild and fierce. You should proceed clearing clearly saying this word, this verse, aloud and remembering its meaning. Do, get, do not forget this, as it is the key to recognizing whatever terrifying visions dawn as certainly being your own perceptions.
Hey, noble one, at this time when your mind and body are parting ways, your pure reality manifests in subtle, dazzling visions, vividly experienced, naturally frightening and worrisome, shivering, shimmering like a mirage in the plains in autumn. Do not fear them. Do not be afraid. Do not panic. You have what is called an instinctive mental body, not a material flesh and blood body. Thus, whatever sounds, lights, and rays may come at you, they cannot hurt you. You cannot die. It is enough just for you to recognize this as your own perceptions. Understand that this is that perception. High Noble One, if you don't recognize them, as your own perception in this way. Whatever other meditation and achievements you have or may have experienced in the human world, if you did not meet this particular instructions, the lights will find you. The sounds will panic you. The rays will terrify you. If you don't know the key of this instruction, you will not recognize the sounds, the lights, and rays. You will wonder in this life cycle. A noble one, having fainted for four and a half days, you are now proceeding. You have woken up with the worry. What is happening to me? Recognize that you are in the between. Now, since the life cycle is in suspension, all things dawn as lights and deities. All space dawns full of azure light. Now from the central Buddha land, Christ land, Allah land, all pervading drop, the Lord Christ, the Lord Buddha, Varochana, appears before you, white body, sitting on a low lion throne, holding in his hand an eight-spoked wheel, united with his consort, Akasha Dadvishvari. This natural purity of the consciousness aggregate, the blue light of the reality perfect a perfection wisdom, a clear and vivid color blue, brightly intense, shines piercingly from the heart center of this Christ couple, Buddha couple, Varochana couple. Dazzling your eyes unbearably. At that time, simultaneously, the soft white light of the gods shines upon you and penetrates you in parallel with the bright blue light. At that time, influenced by negative evolution, you're panic and you are terrified of that 
bright blue light of reality perfection wisdom. And you flee from it. And you feel a liking for the soft white light of the gods. And you approach it. You must not panic at that blue light. The clear, piercing, brilliant, frightening, supreme wisdom clear light. Do not fear it. It is the light ray of the transcendent Lord, the reality perfection wisdom. Feel attracted to it with faith and reverence. Make it the answer to your prayer, thinking it is the light ray of the compassion of Lord Jesus, of Lord Buddha. I must take refuge in it. It is the way Lord Buddha, Lord Jesus, comes to escort you through the straits of deep between. It is the light ray of the compassion of Buddha, Varochana, Jesus, Krishna consciousness. Don't be enticed by the soft white light of the gods. Don't be attached to it. Don't long for it. If you cling to it, you will wander into the realm of the gods. And you will continue to cycle through the six realms of driven existence. It is an obstacle to cessation, the path of freedom. So don't look upon it, but be devoted to the brilliant, penetrating blue light and aim your intense willpower towards Lord Jesus, Buddha, Christ Consciousness, Virochana, and re repeat after me the following prayer. When I roam the life cycle driven by strong delusion, May the universal consciousness lead me on the path of the clear light of reality, perfection, wisdom. May his consort, the universal female energy, back me on the way. Deliver me from the dangerous straits of the between and carry me to perfect Christ Consciousness, Buddhahood. Thus saying with fierce devotion, you dissolve in rainbow light into the heart of the universal couple, Christ Consciousness couple, Buddha couple. Hence, you will enter the central pure land, Jnana Vyutta, the dense array, and become a Buddha, a Christ, a Krishna, by the way of the body of birth, of perfect beatitude. As you experience the joy that the person has went and dissolved into the light you have created, you rest in the serenity of that light you have created and experience the magic, your magic.
as you bring yourself back into this very room, this very moment, you sense that this universe you have created, that this is the one you have visualized, is the same one you are living in right now. As you open your eyes to unleash this magic into the world, you understand that as you go through your days with other beings, you know that they are part of you, that we are one in every way. At all presence. And now, as you take this one last moment, you give thanks to your teacher. You can do that by putting your hands together close to your heart for this final moment. Thank you that the teacher reveals to you the way and knowing that the teacher is you and that you are speaking to the one in front of you, around you. In the future of you, everywhere. the least bit of your kind, the worst of your kind, and know that this is the one you are helping yourself. guys you can now unmute yourself and you can open your eyes and feel the magic of what you have created hey Melanie. hey Tony I know you're in a trance you can unmute yourself now same thing to you Sherman and everyone else. Dude, that was awesome. Yo, everybody. Hi.
I did catch the tail into <laughs> it. I was setting up my <laughs> space, but I found a little piece that had head vibrations, so that was good. I always love those little vibrations going on in my head. Alperen, meditasyon sonra cara gibi bir şey yok lan. Uh, okay, can you speak in English? I don't know Arabic here. <laughs> um, he, he, said, uh, he said that there's nothing like a cigarette after a meditation session. Yes, you might. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, Deanna, girl, you can uh, unmute yourself, sweetheart. I guess she's in a trance, I guess. Oh, those funny days. <laughs> yeah, it took me a while to find my phone because I lost it. <laughs> Mr. Thank you, you know, very much. Oh. Ugh. Like, yeah. I, I didn't tell you, Sherman, or Melanie about this, or any of you guys who are my fans, that I actually uh, finally had a girlfriend, and uh, say hello to Deanna over here. Hi. Hey. Yeah, I've seen that on Facebook. I'm friends with both of you guys, remember? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, stop, Andy. How does that work out when one of you lives in Austin and the other in Hollywood, Florida? Well, I've been in long distance relationships before. <laughs> there are so I, at least I know that today I accidentally put several people into a trance, and when I told them to unmute themselves, it took them a couple seconds to get off. I was like, uh-oh. Where did I want to go? <laughs> I can tell you I lost my phone and I forgot where I put my phone. I was like, wait, where's my phone? <laughs> oh, you lost your soul, so that's why you lost your phone. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> hey, oh my God. Hey. Here's the other part. Like, my phone was right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I lost my phone that was right next to my head. Where's Michael? Where's Michael Pratt? I don't think uh, he's in yet. Uh, I guess he's watching the show because the uh, the thing is full. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I just, for me personally, like, <clears throat> I've just been um, focusing a lot more lately and been getting all these head vibrations and, like, in there. How do you say that word, Tony? The third eye. The third eye. What's that gland called? Yeah, like, I don't know how to say it. Oh, it's it's pineal gland. A pineal gland. He can. He can. So yeah, like I've been getting. <laughs> I was a lot actually of uh, trying to do a meditation. Yeah, I was doing a meditation with the uh, pineal gland. Oh, with Tony and everyone else is here, and you like uh, got uh, like almost at the end of it. I don't know if you were, if you were actually, uh, you got in when I was actually reading the Bartle Total or the Dead Book of the Dead. Well, check it out. Every other week, I have my daughter. And when I have my daughter, it's hard for me to get into the group sessions and really focus on the meditation. And so she went back to her dad's house yesterday, and so I'm able to focus. 
This week, this Let's week, I'm good. Switch. Which, from what you posted, your jar is adorable. Like, I'd happily babysit. Hmm. Really? Okay. Hey, Laura, you missed uh, the... Uh, Laura, you missed the meditation. Uh, what's going on? Uh, mute yourself. Wait, where is Laura? Oh, my gosh. Uh, it's not under Emma. Yeah, like... Yep, I guess. Well, so she like, said she was lagging. Like, she said she was so lagging. So, like, seriously, uh, did, you, did you guys uh, experience anything uh, when the meditation was going on uh, while I was facilitating it or when you guys are watching uh, the meditation? I experienced, like, uh, basically, uh, what I think it's intended to experience eventually, and that's just, like, nothingness. Okay. Absolute quiet, absolute silence, total relaxation. That was really cool. So. And where about you, Deanna? Because I know. <laughs> where about you, Deanna? Like, do you uh, experience like uh, what was the over there? Because I heard you lost your phone. <laughs> well, um. Let's put you this way, um, Andy. You know what happened today, so it got my mind off of what happened today, and I think mission accomplished. Got your mind off today, like what happened? Did I erase your? Did I just like erase your memory? No, no, no. Shut up. I no. Just took your mind off of it. Shut up. No. <laughs> I mean, like, no. I mean, like, um. You know how you tend to go back to things and think about how you could do better? Wait, what? That's Melanie's uh, son. Oh. Yeah, that's Melanie's little children. Hi. So, yeah, like, uh, so, yeah, what, what's going on in your mind? I'm, all of a sudden, I heard that you were you know, like uh, you lost con uh, contact with time. All of a sudden, <laughs> how did you pick that up? Seriously, um, no, uh, not, like, like come on, like um, when you said you lost the. Phone and all of a sudden, like you feel like you know, where's your phone and everything, and then next thing you know, you're like, where is it? Where is it? And then I said, are you losing track it of your right time? Next to my head. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I'm it asking. It was right you. next to my head. I, uh, like um, I didn't lose track of time and wait. You lost track of your phone. Yeah, <laughs> actually, yeah, it's exactly the time that I thought it was. But that's so a good how? But I did lose track of time because I know it's nine o'clock. <laughs> um, but I think it was extremely relaxing and it definitely kept my mind off of what okay. happened wrong today. So okay. I'm all mellow. For the first time today, I'm mellow. So cool. I think that's a good sign. <laughs> I think I brought. Uh, I actually uh, made Batu a little low today after he got high. <laughs> that's why he said, "I'm so angry, Andy." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I think I shot him down a little too hard. <laughs> Poor guy. <sighs> and where about you, Martin? Do you uh, do you have anything to say about this? Like, uh, any questions about the meditation about Zogchen? Because you're new to this place. Um, I wasn't really able. Where did it go? Yeah, I wasn't really able to keep uh, to keep my mind focused. I was able to keep my mind focused for the first like ten minutes of it, um, and then I kept on getting distracted um, by different things. So it was kind of hard mm. to get back into the groove of everything. Well, it's okay. At least I can. Uh, at least I uh, I can build. I get you uh, to 
our meditations. But it's yeah, all right definitely. about that. I mean, I saw the video that um, I'll probably be able to go back into it and um, and listen to it again, and then actually probably get into it once uh, once I get less distracted. Oh yeah. By the way, if you need anything, pause the video and be able to like let it seep into you. Like breathe it, and then uh, just be able to like just breathe every word and focus on just uh, like uh, when you get to the Bardo total part. That is the most in interesting part because I'm actually reading directly from this Tibet Book of the Dead right here. Mhm. Mm okay. Look okay. at me, I just, that uh, I just is exactly the book I read it from. That the goal? Rest. <laughs> I went to sleep at like 3 o'clock this morning and got up at 7. So I only had like 4 hours of sleep and then stayed up at the hospital all day, like till 4.30 or so, then fixed dinner. So, yeah, it has been pretty rough. But, uh, yeah, I definitely got uh, almost just a really good relaxation off of it and, uh, uh, some quiet as far as my mind goes. <laughs> That's what happens when your mind slows down to the size uh, to the point where you have nothing, man. You don't yeah, sleep very often. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I felt like I got like two or three hours of sleep, but I wasn't asleep. Mm. Yeah, so, like, uh, is anyone else having any questions uh, about meditation? Even the audience, like, uh, I'm opening uh, this uh, discussion right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to just leave it uh, to other people's discretion to uh, do whatever they need to do. Like, if you need uh, to ask anything, just leave it on the chat box or on the YouTube uh, video that I just post up on the uh, on YouTube. Just check out my link and the, where uh, I am. Just subscribe to my channel. It's Andy A N D Y. Uh, play I and then uh, just look up. Uh, uh, I will be at the first uh, person at the. Uh, front of, like, the top of the channel page. So just find me on YouTube and subscribe if you uh, felt like, uh, you, feel like uh, you want to learn more about meditation. Just click onto the subscribing uh, stuff uh, below and you should be able to find it. And whoever's watching this, thanks for watching. Sure.